our insanity is now institutionalized insanity. She has a high level position at an elite university. That doctor who's about to operate on your wife, who taught him medicine? What do they believe about medicine? CEOs, senators, presidents, they're all going through, Z, through these elite institutions now where they're being taught insanity by insane people. We are quite literally living out the phrase, the inmates are running the asylum. That's what we've become as a nation. That human being is not on a street corner. You're paying hundreds of thousands of dollars to send your child to be educated by that person. Which brings me to something else. There was a disgusting event going on in Dallas, Texas over the weekend. It was, it's called Drag the Kids to Pride. I am not going to play very much of, of this for you. We've had a talk just as a staff. We've had a talk about this. And since this stuff is clearly going to be in the news a lot, right, with all these trans and drag and all this other crap, we want to show it to you. I, I want you to see. You know, you're, you're, you're a busy person. You're working. You come here so we can tell you what we've seen. But I also understand that kids watch this show. And even if, even if kids aren't watching, families sitting down. I mean, maybe you just had dinner. This stuff is so gross. We want to show it. We don't know how to show how much, or we don't know how much to show. So we've decided this one, you know, short, 10 seconds or so. This is just a little clip of the Drag the Kids to Pride event. Well, where should we begin? I mean, honestly, my real horror isn't at the dancers. My real horror is those were parents in there who brought their children in. See that one little kid with green hair? Little girl, drag performer takes her hand. And honestly, genuinely asking, what chance do those kids have at a normal life? If you have parents who are such deranged lunatics, they'll find a drag event in town and take you to it and let you dance with the drag queen from, I mean, at the age of five or six, what chance does that kid have? None. That kid is given no chance whatsoever. None. It, 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 you talk about institutionalized. Maybe I should have expanded beyond academia and the medical world. This is institutionalized in homes. Homes are pushing this stuff. I, I'm a father. You a parent? If you're not, maybe you will be one day, and I'll tell you something. As a father, one of my biggest fears, I don't have a lot, I'm not an anxious person, but one of my biggest fears in life is passing on the bad parts of me down to my sons. I know I've got a bunch. I don't want to give it to them. What kind of sick freak parent takes their bad things and purposely crams it down their child's throat? Where are we as a country when that's happening? And I'll say something else. Where are we as a country when we allow that to happen? How is it permitted that children are allowed in a place to see that stuff? How are parents allowed to drag their children into a bar to see that stuff? Every single person in that place the performers and the parents should be in jail right now awaiting trial. Every single one of them.